Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. As you can see, Swindon Town are top of the league, 98 points, and it's only March. What? 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 We've actually secured promotion. We're going to finish at least second, even if we lose the rest of our game. So, to the championship we go! Um, today, I'm, by the way, I am actually, right now, you'll, you'll, you'll recall that this is me from the past coming to you. Um, you are in the future. I am in a past where the actual IRL Swindon Town are playing um, in the League One playoffs to find out if they get to go to the championship. And I am watching that game while I come to you. So if I, if I pause and scream, right now Swindon are behind 4-3. Uh, they need a goal, and they have 30, 28 minutes to find it. So, yeah, that's why I'm tense. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about Kiva. The Nerd Fighters of Kiva uh, got this as a, uh, um, as a Project for Awesome reward, and uh, they want to have sort of a Kiva Nerd Fighter Question Tuesday. Um, this one's going to be about Kiva, and then uh, the next one will be about other things asked by Kiva Nerd Fighters. Kiva Nerd Fighters, of course, are Nerd Fighters who donate uh, or who loan money to, through Kiva. Come on! Mm, get in that goal! Dang it. Life is hard and full of disappointment. All right, Meredith, what's my first question? How was I drawn to Kiva to begin with? Well, in 2007, way back at the beginning of the Vlogbrothers era, Hank and I um, were working... Uh, well, we went to the Dominican Republic for a family vacation, and while we were there, we met with a microfinance organization that at the time was working with Kiva. Um, it no longer does because... It was it just, they like, Kiva is super strict about their, um, that's not a foul. I'll tell you what, they call so many fouls just for being attractive and hardworking. Um, at the time, you know, Kiva's really, oh, schmerg! We just got roved on by the Tranmeres. Meanwhile, things are nervous in Brentford. Ah, Swindon, do some defending. Everything is fine. Everything is fine in real life, but uh, here in the game it's worrisome. So I found out I, I found out about it from them. Um, although you know Kiva is very has very very strict regulations for who they work with, and you've got to pass all kinds of different financial tests and stuff. So um, that's how I found out about it initially, and then it just seemed like a really interesting way for sort of regular people to become, you know, micro lenders. Next, oh God, I'm going to give up two goals in three seconds. This is going to be a difficult game. Get that! Oh, it's a little bit of a foul. It was a little. It was a smidge of a foul. Bandolovsky just a smidge, just slightly missed the ball. He just—he's not even going to deny it. Maybe a yellow card. Yes, because uh, thank you. Wait a second. Okay, everything is fine. Okay, now we just need Wesley Crusher Fodringham to do his Wesley Crusher Fodering hamming. No, I went to the wrong area. Okay, it's 2-0 and only in the 17th minute. Nothing to worry about. I blame you, Kiva Nerdfighters. So, um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, by the way, Kiva.org is a way that regular people can loan money to entrepreneurs in the developing world, um, $25 at a time, and, uh, you know, allow them to have access to the same kind of capital structures and banking uh, structures that we have in the developed world, which do not exist in most of the, um, most of the developing world. Um, so there no, there's no real way to take out a loan for your business other than loan sharks, which are exorbitantly expensive. So, um, yeah, what was the question? Is there a method I use when selecting um, who I want to loan to? Kind of. I'm a big fan of agriculture loans because that, like, it, it makes sense to, th like, I am a um, pretty conservative uh, person, I guess. Um, so when I'm making an investment in, in a business person um, and I'm asking them to, to pay me back, uh, I want to kind of understand their business. And there's a lot of businesses I don't understand. But I do understand agriculture. Like I bought a cow and I raised it upright and now it gives me milk and the milk uh, I can sell for money. Like that. Oh, off the post. That is a business model I can totally understand. Ooh, Swindon got close there. That's a business model I can totally understand. So, um, by the way, by Swindon, I'm, I'm of course, mean the Swindon um, in real life. It's very complicated, very meta right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, I like agriculture loans, but then I also like, um, of course, I always like bookstores and um, anything that has to do with, with the arts. There's a lot of, like, cool weaving loans in Bolivia um, for people who do arts and crafts stuff. Oh, Brentford's in the box. Okay, what's next? 
Oh, am I, am I biased toward or against any countries or continents? I'm a little bit biased against the Philippines, but I'll tell you why. It's because back in the early days, like half of the loans that were available were, were, were from the Philippines, and like all of my loans were in the Philippines, and I always felt bad about it. I was like, man, I'm not, I'm not representing any, anywhere but the Philippines. So I've been trying to give to places other than the Philippines lately in the hopes that I can kind of like even the scorecard a little bit, because right now it looks like I am like basically Filipino. Um, in terms of my, my support, because it's still like 40% of my overall Kiva loans have been through, been to the Philippines. But that's just because of what it was like in the early days of, of Kiva. Um, but no, I, I, try to, I try to be really geographically, I try to be broad geographically. I mean, I do give mostly to women, or loan, I should say, mostly to women, uh, partly because they're, they're more likely to pay you back, but also partly just because I think that, you know, women tend to have less access to... Um, like traditional credit and banking opportunities than men. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's important to me. Come on! Oh, we're still down 2-0 here at the end of the first half. Okay, what's next? Do I prefer individual or group loans? So there's two. You can either loan directly to one individual or you can loan to what's called a group. And then the entire group assumes responsibility for the entire group's loan. So if you loan to 10 people and they each borrow 200 bucks, the entire group is, is together responsible for that $2,000 loan. I, I mean, there's been, there's lots of like, lots of like, you know, research that disagrees. And I, I, I make both kinds of loans. Um, the idea with the group loans is that, you know, if you spread the risk out a little bit, it makes things better. Makes it more likely that you'll be paid back. I mean, that's not as big a concern to me. Um, and I, I like the individual loans just because, I don't know, then you feel like you're making a direct, a direct connection to someone, like directly fueling someone's business. But, yeah, I give both. Next. Do I remember my first few loans? Well, I, I remember they were all to the Philippines. Um, or to the Dominican Republic, which at the time, which is where we, Hank and I were coming from. So we were, we were you know, fans of that particular organization. Um, but no, I, I, I don't. I'm, I remember the first, um, I remember my first default, the first time someone didn't pay me back, because it came um, on my 1,000th loan. And I was like, man, that's bad luck. But, um, but yeah, I, I always got paid back to my, oh, come on, I was obviously trying to pass the ball John Green. I feel like these husband, and husband teams are just not quite on the same page. Um, yeah, I, so that's, that's most of what I remember, is that... Uh, because I just come to take for granted that people pay you back. And the truth is, they almost always do. Like, I tell people that Kiva is essentially a, um, it's a savings account where you make negative 1% interest, which is, you know, not much worse than the current interest rates. So, yeah, next. So should nerd fighters avoid field partners with high interest rates because they might add to poverty long term? It's a really interesting question. Um, the, but it has a very complicated answer. So I apologize in advance. So, right, when you make a loan to someone, they have to pay interest on that loan um, because that's how banking works. Uh, there are, there is, oh my goodness, are we going to give up a third goal for real? One size fits all, not with his best work there. Um, there is something called, uh, there, there, is, is, uh, there are Islamic banking um, things which are different from interest loans because they sort of have a shared, they, they, they take on sort of a shared responsibility model instead of a direct lending, oh, um, with, um, with interest model. So those, but putting those aside, I mean, the way that it works in, um, the, in much of the world is that you give a loan and that person pays back the loan with some interest. Um, and sometimes the interest rates, if you look um, on Kiva, they look like they're exceedingly high. Like they'll be like 30% or something, 30% annual interest. And you'll think like, well, that's very, very high. I mean, here in the United States, I take out a 3% loan to get a car. Um, and, you know, business loans are typically less, um, less risky than car loans. So like, how can it be 30%? Like that's, that may in, in, in the end increase poverty because this person may not be able to grow their business by enough to justify the cost of the loan, which in turn will like, you know, make, uh, increase, the, increase 
their poverty level, increase the financial pressure on their families and everything. And then, but the, the thing that we perhaps are not considering when we think that is, oh my God! Oh, Laura Palmer from Twin Peaks scores the third goal. I thought she had died, but then she, she she's back and she's murderous. Okay. Um, that's a joke that four people in my audience will get. Perfect. That's how we draw them up. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll get maybe we'll get a consolation goal here or something. Consolation goal. Yes, the best kind of goal. Uh, Bob John Green just hit his husband, so that's a little worrisome. I'm not going to sing because we're down three one. It's not a time for singing. It's a time for mourning. All right, we're going to go full attack, try to get two goals back, see what we can do. we got, we got 13 minutes. So the thing that we're not considering there is interest rates. Um, I mean, is, is inflation. So if the interest rate is 30% and annual inflation is 28%, the, interest, the, the functional interest rate on that loan is, in fact, quite low. And that's usually the case with really high, um, with really high or what appear to be high interest rates. Usually, it's, it's secretly the work of, um, oh, God, it's got to be. And it is! And it is! Oh! Oh! We call him Bob. We call him Bob. He's Vargabut But we call him Bob. Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal from the beautiful man who is the intellectual heart of the Swin and Town Swoodly Poopers. Can we do it? Can we get a third goal? Oh, God. So, yeah, I, I, I think you've got to consider the economic, like, the economic the overall fiscal situation in the country before you come to a conclusion about interest rates. So it's got to be interest rates relative to inflation. And, um, you know, and, and I think Kiva does a really good job. Oh, God. Really? Four goals? Oh, four goals. Oh, Wesley Crusher Fodingham. All right, we've got one chance um, to quote Eminem. We can do this. We can do this. The ball, John Green. Oh, ball, John Green is dispossessed. That's not realistic. That's not realistic to the truth of the game, which is that ball, John Green would never in that situation allow himself to be dispossessed. It looks like we're going to lose 3-2 despite a heroic comeback. Oh, I can only hope that the real life Swindon fare better. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching, and thank you for lending through Kiva. There's a link in the doobly-doo to join the Kiva Nerdfighter group. I'm sorry that I couldn't deliver a win, but I'll be back soon, and I'll try my best. 3-2. Well, at least it was a goal fest. Best wishes.